right here we're going to put a breather system on my Tahoe it's an 05 okay as you can see the Spectra supposed to uh, increase my horsepower by 18 and it will fit on the following vehicles as you can see here Okay, and we are actually putting it on Tahoe, an 05, 5.3 liter. First thing we got to do is take all this stuff off. From right there, all the way over to this box, right here. We'll probably be using those sensors right there, again. So we'll start with the air filter by taking those two bolts right there out and now we got two more screws one down there and one over there okay now we'll take the clamps off right there and right there okay we've got the top of the uh, breather off it's laying right there here's what it looks like now we got to pull this out, lay it aside, because it will go back on. This will go back on. Okay, now we will get rid of this. And we'll take that box out. Okay, there's the box. It just pulled straight up and out. Now we're going to take that clamp and break it loose, and we're going to try and pull this whole thing to our left and hopefully it'll slide off okay we've got the clamp loosened up we've got it pulled away from our intake now all we have to do is take a screwdriver and pry it away from that little uh, clip and it should come right out okay there we go we got it loose now let's pull this up out of here stick it with the rest of the with the rest of the stuff a lot of uh, plastic there there's what came off that I just took it off because I didn't want to break it it goes back on the top of the uh, intake okay now let's remove that air filter box from the bottom we'll save the screws because we'll be using those later okay the bolts are gone plates been removed now let's put the box together. We got our bolts, our Allen wrench. We want to tilt this one upward. Put it together like this. Put the bolts in those three holes right there and tighten them down. Okay, there it is all together. Now at this time we will go ahead and put the rubber bushing. this hole right here Let's see turn it around we'll put it on this side just like that okay we got it in it actually did not look like it was going to fit but I had to uh, move it around a little bit and uh, make it fit in there and it actually went right in okay here's our polished aluminum tube we'll go ahead and put that on in Okay, make sure your elbow is angled upward so that you can put your tube in there and bring it on over, but don't tighten anything down. I snugged the back one down a little bit so to hold it in place I can loosen it up later to make final adjustments. Okay, I loosened up my clamp, adjusted it, tightened it back down on the elbow. Got this one adjusted, tightened it down. Came on up here. I locked that in place where the other air breather was. It went right in there, the same spot. It came up here, and I had the bushing. And I put it in place and put a bolt on it, tightened it up on both sides. And this thing, yeah, there's no vibration. It doesn't move. Now let's put the rest of it together. Okay, now we're going to insert this right here, but first we have a another bushing up in here. And this, we're going to put around this, and you can see where the notch is. 
Well, it should go right there. And we'll slide this up on there so it will actually fit tightly in this hole right here. It's best to disconnect it from the wire harness, take it off, place it down here on something flat, and then go ahead and start pressing this uh, rubber ring around it. A lot easier. Okay, I got that part on where the sensor is hooked up. Snap the sensor back in. But now it's really close to this. So it's actually leaning up against it. I'm hoping it don't wear a hole in it. Because everything is so tight and I got all kinds of room on this side. Okay, I got it all in. I made some adjustments and got it got it centered pretty much but it still has more space on the left than it does on the right but it's not it's not uh, touching it as far as uh, rubbing against it and it's solid okay now let's put the filter on had a little bit of issue the uh, filter didn't want to fit up in here it's so tight that I actually had to take loose the uh, rubber bumper down here or the shock absorber if you want to call it that and I had to loosen up the clamps right here and readjust everything put the filter on and then I started tightening everything back down from this end and worked my way up to the bumper after I had the filter on um, it's gonna be uh, tough getting the filter back off I'll probably have to take the uh, bumper and loosen it back up along with the clamps to get that filter back out I need to clean it I've already test driven it it sounds good. I'll just have to wait and see what kind of gas bombs I get now.